Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2. Right now, I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and it's almost 1920, but we are socialists now. The last election made us socialist, which drove down our military score to ninth in the world, which is not cool, but we can secularize society. Actually, is there anything else here? Not really. <clears throat> in order to partake in the industries dealing with alcohol production and to properly compete with the Western powers in the field of science, a secularization of our society is of the utmost importance. Some leading academics in our country advise. The separation of state and religion will certainly anger the cons conservation sectors in our society, but allow us to better face the challenges of the century. Once we take this decision, however, there's no going back as the changes in our society will be so profound that their effects will linger in a way or another. So we lose a lot of prestige, but I want to see what happens when we secularize society. Very cool. And we are socialists, but I, I like the full citizenship. I don't really care about secularized too much. Plan economy, it's okay. Protectionism, it's also okay. Full welfare state, it's okay. I'm not really a big fan of the socialist faction here just because, well, I don't like anti-military. The fascist faction sounds like a little bit like fun, but... Uh, and even the communist faction doesn't look bad either. Pro-military, I like that one. And full citizenship. But we're going to go back to the tried and true one of the royal faction. Liberal faction seems okay, but we're about to go to war, so pacifism isn't really good. The nationalists, ooh. Jingoism. Hmm. Pro-military. Cassius Belli acquisition speed plus 20% versus 30% plus 50% reinforce rate. Ooh. Nationalist faction. Now, a lot of people don't really support that. I, 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 state capitalism, though, is so good. And these guys are interventionist. Yeah, this faction, they're jingoist, state capitalists. The only thing I would prefer if the fascist faction had was, like, full citizenship. Which doesn't make sense to... De well, actually... Actually, that makes a little bit more sense if you think about it. Because if you're thinking, well, if you're fascist, you probably want more culture. You want more state and culture. Once, one, you know, one culture, one state, as far as I understand. I'll just go with the royal faction, though. Just because... Look at that score. Now six in the world. And happy 1920. Ah, wine. Very cool. And we got rid of Islamic law, so... Cool. Oh, also, I guess Egypt... They say they want independence. But... <clears throat> no. Oh, we got a reform, too. Look at that. Let's see. You know what? I don't. We're going to go to war, so let's see what the people want. They want low pensions. Don't really care about this too much, so go ahead and have it. So you don't revolt. And, yeah. I don't like the socialist one, just because you have a minimum taxation level. Oh, a minimum spending level, too. I don't like that, too. Mm. Seems like we're doing okay. Let's go and go to war. Oh, they don't have any allies. Okay, they're going to war with Oman and Kuwait. Good place in the sun, and we went to Britannia, so. Up here. Now, we have allies. We can call them in, but I've actually tried this once, and if I call in the UK, they will assume leadership, and I do not want them to assume leadership. So I'll call in, let's see, Portugal, South Africa, pretty much everyone but like the great powers, so. Let's go ahead. I'm going to call in. Oh, yeah, Portugal's not that strong. Sweden is the 8th grade power, so I'm going to call them in. I'm going to call in Portugal. South Africa. Maybe that'll weaken them. They're socialists as well. Uh, what is their socialist party like? Anti-military. That's better than pacifism, I guess. Let's see. Who else? We would call in Sweden. So we're at war with Albania and the Ottomans. Fine, whatever. See, Russia, Austria, Hungary. Austria, Hungary is below us. So that means we'll still assume leadership. That's good. Well, let's come back over here. And who else do we have? I'm not going to call them the Russians because the Russians are still above us, so no. Bolivia, don't really care. Andres won't really help out that much. Actually, Persia would be very good to call in, too. There we go. Cool. And let's go ahead and move on in. I know they have an army up there. Like I said, I tried this once off-screen already. Well, I didn't really want to do it off-screen. But the UK assumed leadership, and I don't like that. Can we actually... Oh, yeah, there we go. And we got. We can't forget this. Honored, 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 honored. Good. Don't worry about that. You guys stay here. And you're going to go crazy with them. All right, all right, so they're coming on the 11th. Oh, crap, come on. Come attack us here. Oh, what are you guys up to? Oh, you're going up that way, huh? Cool. Not much else, we're just killing some rebels. Just normal things. Also, do we have any ships here? We have five cruisers. I'm trying to make... Am I making some battleships? I think I am. Also, 
77% of our population can read in 1920. That's pretty good. We are building a battleship. Nice. We can't build dreadnoughts yet, but hey, we're getting there. We're getting there. If he leaves, we will pretty much have him completely surrounded. Cairo, cool. Alright, so he's leaving. He'll be there on the 30th. We'll get there on the 26th. Alright, so we got to plan this a little bit carefully. Oh boy. That is not a very strong army. And they'll be there on the 2nd of February. Oh, the Russians are here. Nice. Oh, that should actually help us out down there. If we can, we're going to try to dismantle the Ottoman Empire, maybe. Anything else around here? Oh, see, they have an army up there, too. A second. Oh, God. Give it a month. Yeah, we really got a, we really got a micro leader wars here. Militancy is doing really well, though. Alright, so you're getting attacked. You're going to come there immediately. You guys are getting attacked. You come there immediately. You also come here immediately. We're going to kill that army off. Um, we're, we just killed 5,000 there. I should really pay attention to this one, too. Oh, we lost a lot of guys. Oh, boy. Look at that. Oh, we're going to win this one. Even without reinforcements. Look at that. 31,000 lost to 10,000. 51,000 lost to 10,000. Jesus. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. They don't have a lot of... Ooh, this is going to be pretty costly attacking Fez, but that's okay. Wait, they're coming to Fez. Yeah. Oh. Pfft. Yeah. I can't believe we were defending that one. Cool. Very nice. Alright, so where are they headed to? Gafsfa? Yeah, we should be able to get rid of them there. That'll be good. Right, anything else here? Ooh! Uh, ooh, Ottoman Communists. I'm not so sure if I like that, but hey, we'll take whatever we can get, right? Oh, we have a navy here too. That's one of our old <laughs> garbage navies. Hey, but whatever. Are the Russians coming through here yet? Not really. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, the Austro Hungarians are down. Oh, yes. Oh, this is going to be this is this is pretty much going to be probably the end of the Ottoman Empire. Nice. Oh, beautiful. Nice, Katif. Uh, let's see. You have not that many, so I'm going to actually put you back up here. So you can still do some rebel suppression just in case. You never know what might happen. You guys are still going up north. That is fine. And oh, the Ottomans have quite a good navy. Or this is a big navy. I'm not sure how many good ships they have. Let's, I can't take a look. Yes, we can. Uh, they have an ironclad. That's not really modern. Then again, who am I? We are still using clipper transport, so. Troop ships. They have a lot of ironclads. You guys have ironclads as well, it looks like. And no commander, so. Wow, that, that really sucks. They have a lot of... Uh, sucks for them, of course. Not us. We love us. Come to Tunis. Oh, yeah, you guys definitely need more soldiers. <clears throat> I'm actually going to combine you guys. There you go. Come right there, just in case, because you'll be a good little uh, group to do s distract other people. So four, so that's five. We need just one more, well, hmm, one artillery piece. There you go. Good. I'm using the UK as, like, kind of bait. Oh, look at that. We have a cruiser. A six cruiser. Nice. I love cruisers. All right, so you guys are looking good. I'm going to have you guys come down here. And you can go back and do that. I'm going to have you guys come down here. Uh, go up there. Agadir. Or Agir. Ad Agir. Very nice. Oh, look at that money. I love making money. Finally, we got some money. Because last time... Oh. Ooh. Is that good in def defending? Is there any good place to defend? Ooh. Al Alrish. Semi-desert. Nowhere really good to defend in. If we get attacked, we really need a second army up here. Do we have a second army anywhere? Yeah. You guys. Oh, they're going to Tabuk, huh? Alright, Kuwait time. Oh, they actually annexed Kuwait. Did I call the Russians in? No, I didn't call them. That's why they're not fighting. Duh, Mr. Mokalover. You didn't call them in. They're not going to come in and help you. Wow, it's very uh, multicultural down here. Fur, Beoden. Cool, build a fort. Nice. Bizerta. Malta. You guys have 60,000. I'm going to leave you guys here. Yeah, I'm going to leave them up here just because there's not a lot of good places. Actually, I'm taking you home then. 
And by taking you home, you, you're coming to Tripoli. And you guys are doing that stuff, that's fine. Just gotta keep an eye on enemy armies. Oh. Oh, actually. Can we do anything else to them? Because I really want to... Oh, we can't add a war goal. Dismantle... No, I want to see what everyone else wants to put on for Ottoman Empire. And we also have the Great War Experience, too. Oh, crap. Ooh. Oh, we're probably going to lose that battle. Holy cow, they're coming in with a lot of guys. Um, 23rd of... Oh, that's... Oh, crap. Yeah, that's a lot of guys. Come, can you come in here? Oh, get in here. Come on, come on, come on. Let the Swedes come in. Swedes, what are you doing? You abandoned me. You have forsaken me, Sweden. I will not forgive you. <laughs> what the heck, Sweden? Yeah, no, Sweden. Yeah, no. I hope you get smashed a bit, Sweden. You're a piece of garbage. Now I want to smash the Swedes, but we got a lot of other things to do. Uh... Yeah, die, Sweden. How dare you? How's Kuwait? Not bad. Basra? I wonder what ship they have. We almost have the Great War Experience, too, which will give us hopefully a couple good things here, right? More morale, military tactics. Nice. Uh, let's grab this for even interwar infantry. Even more defense and attack. Less combat width. Good. To heck with the Swedes. Jesus Christ. Actually, you know what? Let's defend on the Suez, maybe. That might be good. Yeah, they have gold down there. Oh, we can't even really defend because that's not part of the uh, thingamabob. I guess come down there. Screw the Swedes, man. God bless. Yeah, I want more <clears throat> jingoism. Because I might be able to take the prestige hit, but there's no way to dismantle the empire, which kind of sucks. Pretty good relations with everyone. Screw you, Sweden. We could have won the battle, but you chose not to. <clears throat> now you're gonna pay for that. No. There are still quite a few guys here. This might be a bad idea. Well, if it doesn't go well, we can always piece them out, so. And if they lose a war, this might force them to break up, too. So, Austro Hungarians looking pretty good. And this Austro Hungarians are good people. Sweet. Surprised no one else wants to join the war, though. Of course, again, they're, in, they're pretty much alone, so. It's always easy to target... Well, not always easy, but sometimes easy to target people who are alone. Which isn't a good thing. We should put that out there. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> so after this, we're going to go. We're gonna cause a great war. Because I actually wanted this to be... What the... Who the what the heck? Is that from India? I mean, we're doing really well. Oh, the capital is under siege too, you say. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be getting be able to get enough of this stuff. Uh, if we can't dismantle them now, here's the thing. <clears throat> if they get dismantled, they might get dismantled if they lose enough, they have enough rebels, which would spawn like Libya, maybe, and Tunis. So, we still need this piece too. It might spawn Morocco as well. So, it's still 20, 1920. I might extend the end date of this campaign just so we can like get all of Africa under us. So let's peace out. So we can get the truce done as quickly as possible, so that then we can go back to war with them as fast as possible. So we're gonna go and do this because, well, I guess that's all that what people wanted. So we can lower our infamy as well. Now this is disgusting. Actually, not too bad. That's actually not too bad. You guys stay there. You guys, I'm gonna put you over there, and you guys stay right there. Very good. Two armies. I'm gonna keep one in Cairo. And I'm going to keep you guys down here in Alexandria. I think it'll be good. Just in case we got rebels. Cool. Alright, we're making plenty of money. Now it's time to pick a fight. Ooh. 
You know what? We might be able to go to war with Spain. Can we do, what, what can we do with them? Just We could dismantle Spain. They're commies. And that would force all of my allies maybe to go to war with Germany. Germany's very strong. But against the Russians and the Austro-Hungarians and us, maybe we might be able to do okay. Maybe. Austro-Hungarians are only 7th in the world. The Russian Empire is 2nd. The Germans are 4th. And if we can call in the UK against them, that'd be good. But then we have to fight off the UK eventually, too. Because they do have some influence down here, Namibia. Oh, and we have two high relations to do this. Hmm... You know what? We start decreasing the relations with them. Maybe I'll just directly go to war with the Germans. Maybe... Hmm... And we did pretty much get rid of all Spanish influence here. You know what? We're going to dismantle their nation first. Screw it. 20 infamy. It's going to take quite a while to do this, so... We're probably going to get found out. Which I don't want to get found out. So, once it happens, we'll probably peace out, maybe? Or I'll just fade and fade out and... Save scum a little bit. Because we can't afford that infamy hit. Cool. So, we, as you can see, we got a little bit more tax efficiency. There might be a great war that spawns soon enough. But let's pull you out and put you down here. And I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Alright everyone, here we are, and I've called in a few allies to go to war with the Spanish, and of course the Germans have come into the war as well. Now, this is not a great war, I believe. Well, regardless, I did not call in the UK or Germany. Well, obviously we're fighting Germany. I didn't call the UK or Russia, because I don't want them to assume leadership in our war because they have a higher you know, score than us. So this will turn interesting. I did call them the Austro-Hungarians, who are probably going to get smashed to bits, but we'll see what happens. They will almost have army doctrine done. Even... Okay, so the reason I didn't call these guys in, like Russia and the UK, is just because they, they will end the war early. Because I tried this already once, and they would end the war early on if, uh, I, if I don't have the leadership of the war. So fighting the Germans is not going to be easy. We'll see what happens. Ooh, they attack us immediately. Look at that, 21 Chipperinos, huh? What do they What do they got? They got some battleships, that's good for them. We have some battleships, they have troop ships, troop ships, quite a few troop ships, actually. I wish I could just see, oh, there's, eight. they have probably like 8 battleships and 13 troop ships, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll do okay, but, oh, we're dismantling the ships already. Austria-Hungary is going to get smashed, but we might see the defeat of Austria-Hungary here, because Germany is going ham on them right now. Crazy on them. I'm sorry, Austria-Hungary, you're just cannon fodder. We're going to explode anyways later on anyway, so it doesn't even matter really. Sorry. Come back. Try again. Uh, you, guys, you guys actually don't even retreat yet. Because it's... Oh, hello. Did we get reinforced? Oh, we got reinforced by the uh, Portuguese. Thank you, Portugal. Look at our ships. We probably should get some more ships here, though. Enemy of my enemy. Now they want to stay up to the war. The idea is the reason that the Tukular Empire should push the German enemy's enemies. Empire's enemies. You see, there are those who would join our side against them. This may mean an unholy alliance with those who might never fight it or fight it otherwise, but the old saying goes, the enemy, my enemy is my friend. If we were to win the war against the German Empire, we may have to take the to heart and do it. Denmark has agreed. Wow, we got Denmark. Big deal. Oof. Man. Proposed peace for Spain. We need 70 score. I really want to call in more people, but I really wish this was a great war. It doesn't matter, though. I mean, like I said before, We'll see how far we can get. If we have to go to war with them again, so we, the demands of war, the constant state of war the Tukular Empire has, is under, has taken its toll on our people. Shortages of basic goods and failure to deliver swift victory has worn down the enthusiasm with which the Tukular people finally initially greeted the war effort. If things don't turn around soon, we could face growing weariness and unrest within our own borders. Bruh, the war just began. What are you talking about? Like, I get that the Austro-Hungarians are not doing well, but they're just cannon fodder. Sorry, Austro-Hungarian people. But they're just, literally just cannon fodder for us. You help to hear to kill off the Germans. That's all I want you to do. Just help weaken them. That's, if your army dies, you know, your nation dies, so be it. Oh. They want to their Gold Coast? Well, there's a reason why I made sure that we are in charge. Because I'm going to dismantle these guys no matter what. And I'll call squad in the Canadians, the Portuguese. A good multicultural war against the Germans and Spanish. I just want the Spanish colonies. So, nothing's really going to change until we actually fight the Germans themselves. Spain is going to be destroyed. Austria-Hungary is probably going to be destroyed, so it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, just Can you at least win one of these battles, guys? 
the AI is just so wonky sometimes. Actually, are we still taxing the crap out of people? No, we're not. I will raise... Oh, no. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. Tariffs by like 3%, really. So, there you go. These guys are going to die. Yeah, I'm not sure... You can do well against Austria-Hungary, but when we're doing stuff, you're probably not going to do it. Yeah, let's not do that. That would be a bit crazy. Go over here. There you go. Now you guys are completely encircled. Love it. Oh, look at that. They got some guys down there. They think they can do anything against us there. Nope. 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 Come and take it. All right. Do you want to do that? All right, then. Got more attack, more defense. We've got interwar infantry. Very nice. Oh, now we're fighting Bulgaria and Japan. Why are we fighting Japan now? Look at that. I'm glad I looked up here. Fighting Japan, Bulgaria, Sh Hal Il. All places, Hal Il. They can't even reach us. That's a lot of guys. And I think they'll have that. You'd well, you know what? I'm kind of glad that we don't have any uh, port that many ports over here then. That's cool. The South Africans are doing great. And I still have armies down here too, so I'm not really too worried about it. We'll see what happens. They'll probably, they probably will ship some soldiers over, which will really suck for us, but whatever. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four. Bingo. What's his name, oh? And still got $1.6 million in the bank, so. Acquire Ghana. Yeah, you are not going to like that. Wait, who are you fighting now? Uh, yeah. That's fine, whatever. Doesn't really matter. France. Let's, can we increase relations here? Would you like an alliance? No? Okay. Minus 54. <clears throat> they wanted to dismantle my empire. Germany. Germany, son. Germany. Now, it looks bad. But the result of this war is going to probably dismantle Germany. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Nice. Well, they arrived here. Alright, well. Uh, no, I want you to stay here, guys. Come on. Could use Gibraltar, but whatever. Uh, don't do that, guys. Come on. Keep our armies nicely concentrated. Just keep, I'm just keeping an eye out for anything else that could happen around here. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at this. Actually, we're trying to get more bureaucrats up here, too. They're looking pretty good. Bureaucrats, bureaucrats. Looking not too bad. Bureaucrats. Hey, we're almost done up there in Colombia. Or what was once Colombia. Yeah, for a white piece against those rebels, that's fine. Whatever. Cool. It looks bad, but really, I mean, they're just beating up the Austro-Hungarians. And that's why I only call them in, not the Russians. Because if the Russians were in, that'd be fine, too. Oh, an act of women's suffrage. We might do that. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what happens. You guys move up here. Alright, so with that many guys, we can just do this. Thank you. Keep you guys close to bay. Keep sieging down Spain. Egyptians are looking good. Uh, let's keep an eye on this area too, maybe. We got quite a few armies down there too. Not bad, not bad. Cool. Hello. Wait, you have zero, zero, zero. What did you say? You have 38,000. Um, what? Okay, that makes mo much more sense. Let's spread into Spain. Actually, no, I'm going to keep you here then. Just in case. Just in case. Siege him down a little faster. Offer you as bait, maybe. Not bad. Too bad it's not a great war. Still got to get the Ottoman Empire, but we'll wait. We got time. And I, I probably will extend the end date, so. Come here. Thank you. Get a little closer just in case. Because this is pretty much going to be 
the next few episodes, if you like to read about this, go right ahead. Um, I want more prestige. Uh, Austria Hungary, they have signed a white piece. Alright, well, it's good for them to do that, probably. You know, makes sense for them, too. But, unfortunately, that means they have to come over here and try to fight us ourselves, which might not be a good thing for us, but hey, if you know the AI, you might be able to do okay. You guys come over here. Alicante. And we do... Are we going to suffer any... Nope. Just worried about these guys around here. Sieging them down. You really don't want to attack me, do you? I'm not going to attack them. That'd be crazy. That's crazy talk. But 90,000 soldiers should be enough to deal with whatever we have over here. Alright. Now the Canadians are still here. That's nice. Anyone try to invade Germany? Oh, the Germans are coming from Denmark next, probably. Oh, actually, you know what? i got to call you in. Sorry, Ger Sorry, Denmark. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Denmark. Oh, Bulgaria. Hello there. Okay, bye-bye, Bulgaria. <laughs> we didn't even suffer a scratch on the ships. Wow. Mechanized mining, great. Awesome, awesome. And Japan is still not a great power, which is kind of interesting to see. So technically the Shogunate. So I guess that makes sense. If they are the Shogunate. Add a war goal. Oh, I can just. Nice. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, God, yes. Uh, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. Canada, Austria-Hungary. Yeah, they're probably not feeling too good right now. Uh, France, we'll keep relations like that. Russia. I have, I have no beef with Russia this campaign. Russia is fine. Whatever Russians want to do, can do. Whatever. Women's suffrage. We'll get there eventually, probably. It just once we get enough high enough war exhaustion, we'll probably do that. Do we? Have much? We have no war exhaustion, so because women's suffrage does lower war exhaustion, so it's only two, but it's not bad. Good. Uh, sure. Are you not my puppet or something? You are my puppet. Thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, keep an eye on this stuff. We're still making more armies, hopefully. Yes, we are. That's good. Still making money. I love it. I kind of wish these guys would actually attack us, but whatever. One, two, bada boo. Um, oh, yeah. Don't, don't worry about that. I'm kind of waiting for them to do anything, so just come around here. Boom, boom. Uh, go right there, maybe. Ooh, they're attacking down there. I don't like that. UAE? Come on, UAE. Come on, guys. I know you don't want to be in this war, but... Oh! The Japanese have found us. Do they not have... Infantry? Ooh, this is probably a bad idea. We're going to risk it, though. If they, they, six thousand, fifteen thousand. They have cavalry but no infantry. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. There we go. At least your guys are still alive. That's good. Yeah, cavalry still pretty strong. Oh, at least one regiment still has three thousand. Not too worried. Within a few weeks, it should do okay. Hopefully, yeah. Let's see what happens. Alright, anything else around here? I just want to smash the crap out of them, but you need so many soldiers to do so. Castillon. Ninety thousand. They'll throw, throw in that extra group too. Ah, Madrid, thank you for playing. Very good. I love Egypt. Egypt's uh, pretty useful. Pretty useful little nation here. Try to get some heavy armaments and probably focus a little bit more on the navy. Oh, Norway's no longer. I don't really care. <laughs> oh, look. South Africans are coming up. So is Portugal. 
That's good. 9,000. Even if they attack us, they won't be able to do anything. Be nice. You guys are allied with the Germans. You're, even though you're not in the war yet. Then again, we do have a truce, so that makes sense. Alright. Good job, Portugal. Let's help them out. Well, that's not good. Nice. Let's see. Better yours. So Spain's looking pretty good. Now we'll probably have to navally invade Germany, which I don't think I can really do that successfully since I don't have that many troop transports. Oh, wait, what? Oopsie. No, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good. Get out of there. Or commit all the way. I guess we're going to commit all the way. That's not really good. My bad. I thought that was an allied army for some reason. Can Portugal deal with that alone, hopefully? For some reason, I thought that was an allied army. What is wrong with me? They're in the world for prestige. We're making more money in this war than we have in like other art, like wars. Usually, war you lose money, but now we're doing relatively okay. Screw it. I will dismantle Germany then. Oh, uh, let's see. All right, that's good. Spain is going to be completely dead by the time we're done here, as you can tell. No. Okay, and it's a piece. It makes sense. Nice. Cool, we're done with all that stuff. Let's go and come to the Navy. Oil-driven ships would actually be pretty useful. Fire control. Let's get the... I haven't even done the command principle. <laughs> wow, that's so bad. The policy stands, though. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very good. You guys come over here to help out and siege them down. Or blockade them, really, I should say. Spain's looking very good. How do I get to Japan? You know what? I guess we've got to start building some steel steamers or troop transports. All right. Oh, we need steamer con. Oh, we don't have any steamer convoys, do we? Steamer convoys. Not in high demand. What are you talking about? Clip the convoys aren't in high demand. Buy whatever we need. That'd be fine. It doesn't take too long to build these. One, two, three. Ooh, we should make more ports around here. Yeah. Hopefully they'll build, they'll do okay. Cool. Spain is pretty much done. Or naval organization. Get some of this. Naval professionalism. Nice. Burgos. Well, it's not quite a Spanish Civil War, but eh, we got another decade for that. Beautiful. Come on down to Tangiers for now. Well, you still haven't fallen apart yet. That's fine. Pamplo oh, look at this. Pamplona. What do the people want? Gerrymandering? Don't really want that, but okay. Oh god, elections are going to become socialists, aren't we? Don't like that. Sounds like we made another ship. That's good. Hmm... We could probably get our way actually to Bulgaria. That actually be okay. Once we make ships, we can. Oh well. If we get, can we actually just pass through here? Hold on. Let's see. Can we pass through the Bosporus? Yes, we can. So if that's the case. I really don't want to see how big the German army. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. German navy, huh? I'm gonna send you guys back down south so we can get some of these troop transports. Oh, I forgot about this too. Oh, South Africa got it. Thank you, South Africa. After that. Can we piece these guys out independently? Probably not. Oh, yeah, we can. And they're merely negotiating for themselves. Well, they can tell me that when they're done. I guess we can dismantle Bulgaria too, right? No. There's nothing we can do against Bulgaria. We could take a hit to infamy. We made them our puppet. That's 10 infamy. That's so much. Acquire state, 11. Humiliate. It's only 3. Humiliate prestige. Yeah, add a sphere for three people. That's quite a bit. Eleven for liberate. Cut down to size. Why is that so much? 
Actually, you want a white piece? No. Well, I guess we're going to Bulgaria next. Why don't we get the military access to France? Because they won't give it to the Germans, I know that. Yeah, we can. Cool. Alright, you guys head on down here. And then you guys are going to head down to... Casablanca. We don't need that many soldiers here anymore, so... Still need a few, but that's okay. Nice. Supply range? Sure, why not? Plus some 3,000 research points. Pretty good. Anyone else around here? Oh, Spanish Navy. We're making these tra troop transports quite a bit. And we've got $2 million. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. How are the Trucial States doing? Uh, we can still probably attack them, but... Hmm. Command units, peace relations, that'd be good. Now, will this starve them out? Probably not. It's not like Koi 4, where you can just starve them from getting any sort of supplies. And our soldiers aren't doing, feeling too good down here. Uh, build up the roads. Actually, we, we should have researched more road stuff. Why have we not done that yet? Master Mocha Lover, what is wrong with you? A lot of things, maybe. I don't know. Help them down here, help them down here. Well, we fully sieged down Spain. Protectionism. Eh, that was a tough one. Philippines defaults. Better pay their debts on from here on out. Okay, so the goal might be get to get soldiers in Sweden and help destroy the Germans there, and then maybe move down to naval invade that way. But like I said earlier, Bulgaria first. Hey, supply range. Get some better roads. We're trying to cause a world war here. We can't even get the road stuff done. So we have thirty-nine percent. That's not bad. Japan. Nah. You just want a white piece? Dismantle them. I mean, that's fine with me. I don't really care about dismantling them. Anything here? Not really. Oh, I can't even touch you guys. Germany. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, they do have troops with Denmark. It's true. Yeah, I just want a white piece. With I don't really care about Bulgaria. I really don't. Alright, so we got a couple ships here. 3 and 10. We got another cruiser. That's nice. That's good, actually. More naval organization is good, too. And we're building another cruiser. Okay, that's good. Anything here? Transports. I would like a dreadnought, but I don't, we can't really make them. So we only have, what, 3 and 11? That's not bad. That's not great. We have rebels in Nic Nicaragua. Oh, well, whatever. You guys go up there. Look at this team. Costing a lot of money to do warfare. That's okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, and Hussar. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Arenos. Keep an eye on this. Zanzibar. Not bad in Al Rif. You guys are done over here. Very good. Guatemala. And welcome to the jungle. Or I should say mo montane forests. There you go. Hey! Uh, oh, Italy! Oh, Italy, that means we gotta kill you off too. What the heck happened here? Italian Sanusi. Oh my goodness. Ottoman Tunis, huh? Rebellion inner ally? They're not my ally. I don't care about Nicaragua right now. Who cares? War exhaustion is... How's that coming along? Zero to 100. Love it. No, I'm good. Alright, so you guys are looking pretty good. We can only send 30,000 soldiers at a time. We definitely need more troop transports. That's okay. Let's come down here. Streets of Gibraltar. I'm going to help out Sweden for now. Uh, well. Well, actually, it might be best to come help out the Canadians. Help out the Canadians, why not? Cool. Get on the boat, guys. We're going to Bulgaria so we can piece them out early on. Or earlier. And we can use the army down there in Greece to help out, too. And, we're losing a little bit of money. That's fine. We'll come to Varna. Siege them out. Do whatever we want to them. Because we can. Cool. Now we're looking down here.
Yeah, just come on over here. It doesn't really matter too much. Trying to build roads up there. Can't build roads there. Uh, Socialist and Communist Party? Nope. I refuse to have that because we need the Royal Faction right now. There you go. Boom. Boom. Yeah, that's god awful. Keep it a little higher. Keep it a little higher. Oh, we landed. Cool. All right, let's take them out. We probably actually only need one navy for this, so or one army. It shouldn't take too long to do this, so. And again, I could be wrong. Sweden, how are you doing? Oh, they have a little fleet over there. A little worried about the German fleet. Eight and two. That's that's not a few guys. Hmm. And they have so many soldiers. If I even try to land with like 60,000 soldiers, they'd probably dismantle my, our allies, so. I guess we're just further south for now. That's fine. They're down over here. Great. That ship died. How strong is Japan? 300. No, oh, 8th in the roll. That's not bad. Hey, railroads, nice. Hopefully everyone can use those. Poly synthetic polymers. Factory cost, minus 10%. Let's do that one. Let time go on. All right, Germany, come on. You gotta enable invade me. You gotta do something here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, No, 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 no. The Japanese invading Cuba. Yeah, no. Oh no, that's the Spanish, not not the Japanese. Thank goodness it actually came down here. Guantanamo Bay is probably actually easier to attack. Yeah, never mind, it's not. Wait, who Montenegro as well, huh? Ooh, who are we fighting? Bulgaria, they would accept a white piece. At this point, do we want a white piece? Probably. There we go. Good. Actually, can we get anything against Montenegro? No, not really. I mean, I don't know why we're at war with Montenegro, but whatever. Oh, boy. Alright, so we're probably going to actually try to land up here then. We have three battleships and 11 cruisers. That's not going to be enough to fight these guys, probably, though. Can we make it up there? That is a question. And it really sucks not being like number four great power. That really sucks. If I have to raise tariffs higher to make a little bit more money, that's fine, but. Oh, we just go that ship off. Good. If we can Oh crap, how many ships did they just show there? Oh, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Woof! Oh, that was scary. They just had so many ships, like 49 ships there. Holy smokes. Herman Kordesman. Hmm. Well, I guess we could dismantle the Spanish for now. It'll be fine with me. Might as well. Good job, guys. Welcome home. Hopefully, get a good piece out of them. Well, Germany? What's it gonna be? White piece? It might just be in a white piece. What the heck? Why did the Canadians go through that? Oh my goodness, guys, guys. I would, it would just have been better they just dismantled their army. So hopefully we get some sort of thing here. I'm not sure if this is going to prove to be great or not, but we'll see what happens. I really want to see what happens with these guys now. They're still fighting all these other people. Oh, the Swedes. Yeah, I'm really scared of that fleet, not gonna lie. <laughs> Sweden, please don't attack when you don't need to. Please. Fire control. Uh, you get more attack, that's not bad. 
The treaty image red. We, they've lost the war. Lightning vultures, the victors descended upon us. We've been forced to the bargaining table to accept humiliating terms regarding the breakup of our empire, and many of our lands simply given away. And we shall be permitted no overseas holdings whatsoever. This is a moment that shall be remembered in Spain for years to come. Oh, wow, look at the Spain's here. And we have, who oh, Valencia and Catalonia. And the Basque Country. Wow. All right, well. Good. Oh, wait. Oh, Basque. There we go. Um, hopefully we get the colonies, or the territory in Africa. Sure, why not? Spanish colonies. One of the matters discussed at the treaty talks is what to do with Spain's colonial holdings. They should not be allowed to keep these lands, but determining how they should be disposed of is no simple matter. For now, agreement has been reached determining some of the territory, and any remaining will have to be negotiated over in the coming years. So if we can, we get two infamy, which is totally fine. Limiting Spanish power. Oh, you, you can actually lose infamy. Okay. Nope. I made sure that we actually didn't go any more wars, and saves come for this reason, so. Nice. At this point, I got what I wanted, so if we can call... In, I don't think we can call in our allies. Where are your armies, Russia? They will accept, though. They will accept. Oh, do I call in the Russians? Russia, wh why are you in... Why are you in Persia? Can I, oh, let me call... Can I call in the UK? Oh, come on. Uh, let's see... Well, which... Where's the colony? Transfer? I mean, yeah. Ooh, do we get Sayuta? That's good. Oh, don't tell me we can't get that one. Don't tell me we can't get that one. That's so dumb if we can't get that. I don't want to have to go back to war with them. And Ethni? Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's see. I will go ahead and keep playing this until we can, like, white peace out with the Germans or anything like that. So, I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, everyone, here we are. So, we are currently looking at Japan. Let's take a look at this first, though. So, what's us? 1,500 some versus about 1,000. Uh, the Bulgarians came back into the war, which I don't know how or why, but they, they wanted more war. The Ottomans actually came into war as well, but we are just beating the living crap out of the Ottomans. They can't do very much. We can actually get to Ha'il as well, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the Ottoman Empire, but... Actually, I do know what happened. So they don't have a massive score, obviously. We had, like, one or two, really just one major battle around here and their, like, Beirut and such. Killed them off, did really, really well. They have... Whoa. Um, that's not, uh... Friendly. <laughs> Mass deaths. Oh, God, let me look at Armenia. Where's Armenia here? This is Armenia, Vaughn. Ooh, baby. Hmm. What are you doing over there? Oh, are, why are they doing mass deaths every... Repatriation, but... Anyways, we are fighting these guys. Uh, I think this video has gone long enough. I broke my alliance with Austria-Hungary because they peaced out, and they are actually at war with the Brits and the Italians. Honestly, if the AI was smart, they could probably deal with that war pretty easily. I still have not called on the Russians. The Swedes actually invaded over here, too. Okay, Swedes. Good luck. Good job with that. And I did put my army over here when we left with each other, but I just decided to put my army back, got on a boat, left as fast as we could, and then, of course, sailed to Japan, which, at this point... Of all nations that are dismantle, we're going to dismantle Japan next. Also, also, I did complain about this earlier, but we did get all the Spanish territory in Africa, which I thought was awesome. Cool. But since, but like I said, I think we've uh, played this episode for long enough. Tomorrow, we will begin with the dismantling of the Ottoman Empire, as I will probably shuffle soldiers into Russia and then invade Germany maybe through that way. You can help out through Prussia and such like that. But regardless, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. I've been up the Japanese of all nations, and I will see you tomorrow as we have a great time dismantling Germany. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.